Hello everyone, I am your computer teacher Anikhet Kurve and today we are discussing about hardware and software of computer. So, what is hardware and software? First we see the computer system. In computer system, it is a CPU, it, a, it is a central processing unit, mouse, it is an input device, keyboard, it is used for typing and it is also input device. Speaker. It is used to listen music and audio. So, speaker is your output device. Monitor. It shows the result and it is also output device. Now, see what is hardware. The hardware is a physical part of computer that you can see and touch are called hardware. See some example like mouse. You can touch the mouse. Printer, you can touch the printer, CD, DVD, then CPU and um, monitor. These all are hardware component, hardware devices that you can touch. Now, see the IPO process. IPO process means input processing and output process. This is the IPO cycle. Input means this device. This device is helped to give the input to our computer. Okay, so input for user informs computer programs what to do. Then after giving some instructions, CPU is a processing device. Processing process convert data to information. This is convert data into the information and give it to output device information output so user can see result with the help of output device we can see the result this is the ipo cycle then what is software what is software software is a set of instruction that is also called a computer program that you can see but cannot touch and fail it. It instructs a computer hardware what to do and how to perform a particular task. It is responsible for making the hardware work. See hardware and software they both are depend on each other. Without software hardware is not working and without hardware software is not working. See some example of software you can draw in tux paint using a mouse. Without mouse, you cannot draw anything on a computer. Therefore, tux paint is a software. You can draw with the help of mouse, but you cannot touch the software. There are two types of software. First one is application software, and second one is system software. So see, what is application software? It helps you to perform specific tasks on a computer. For example, tux paint help you to draw and color on a computer. You can draw anything, shape, diagram or any picture with the help of application software. There are different types of application softwares that help us perform different tasks. Like Word processing application help us to create documents such as a letter, label, and bills. These are the application word processing software. Open Office Writer and MS Word. You can create a document with the help of these two applications. Then spreadsheet application help us to organize, store, and analyze data in a tabular form. Tabular form is table, table form. So you can arrange the data in a particular way, particular manner in a table form, tabular form with the help of these two applications. Then presentation application help us to present information in the form of slide show. You can show some topics, you can show your idea in the form of presentation, means slide show in the form of slide show in an attractive manner and beautiful manner. That time you can use these two applications. 
this application is open office impress and ms powerpoint now gaming application it is used to play game like candy crush temple run and many more these all are application software you can see but you cannot touch now what is a system software it is a software that controls and manage the overall activity of computer system an operating system the short form of operating system is os an operating system is a set of computer program that act as an interface between the user of a computer and the computer hardware interface the operating system is a medium between user and computer hardware then it allows to it's allowed the user to communicate with the hardware it allow the user to communicate with the hardware then it is the first software to be installed on a computer a computer cannot work without an operating system for example microsoft window mac os linux and ubuntu these all are operating system now see windows is an operating system this is this is the screen the windows 7 desktop is the main screen of the window operating system this is the main screen of windows 7 operating system there are various component of the windows 7 screen like desktop icon computer network recycle bin then start button notification area date and time let's say desktop icon there are small pictures on graphics on a desktop that present an application or a program like computer icon show the list of the different locations on the computer and the file store in this location network show whether the computer is connected to the network okay recycle bin store file that user has removed or delete from the computer means unwanted file uh, when we are delete some unwanted file so that unwanted file stored in recycle bin as a garbage then taskbar Taskbar is a long horizontal bar at the bottom of the desktop. It contains the start button and application icon on the left and has a notification area and icon for time, date and speaker volume on the, on the right side. Now see the taskbar. This is a taskbar. Start button. This is the start button menu that allow the user to open a different application this is your start button then date and time date and time show the current date and time set of the computer here on the right side you can see the current date and time then notification area shows small icon that informs the user about the status of various tasks running on the computer now you can see here is uh, your computer is connected with internet this is the sound symbol and these all are the uh, symbol that show the current status of your running task now the next is thank you i hope guys you are enjoying this video and you enjoying this 